Hey everyone, welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the crow from Brawl Stars. I'm going to get started in the center of my page with a half circle for the bridge of the beak. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve up towards the middle. And we'll just bring this down on the right side. Now we're going to leave a little gap just below these two points and just draw two curves coming down towards the tip of the beak. So on the left side, we're going to step in, curve down, and in towards the middle. We're going to curve up towards the right side. Now we're going to take the top two ends and just curve around these two points and then in behind the beak. At the top of the beak, we're going to add two small circles for the nostrils, starting on the left side, and then one on the right. Let's move to the side and draw two angled lines for the upper part of the eyelid. So we're going to leave a gap just beside the beak, draw a straight angled line going out toward the left. We're going to go over to the right and do the same thing. Now I'm going to connect those two points with a curve coming down towards the bottom of the eye. Starting at the top, we'll curve down, and then let's pull that up towards the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right, starting from the inside. Just below the eyelids, we're going to add two half ovals for the pupil. So starting on the left side, right in the middle of this line, we'll curve down towards the bottom, and then pull that back up. We'll do the same thing on the right. At the top, we're just going to add a small circle for a highlight. The same thing on the right side, and then we'll color the pupil in black. Let's move to the outside and draw on the sides of the cheek. So at the bottom of the eye on the left, we're going to step over and draw a point. From this point, I just want to curve out the cheek and pull this in underneath the mouth. Do the same thing on the right, so starting at the bottom of the eye, stepping over, we'll draw a point, curving out the cheek, and pulling that in underneath the mouth. Now from these two points of the cheek, we want to go straight up and curve in towards the center, leaving a gap at the top. Starting on the left, we'll go up, just curve over the eye, and just pull this in towards the middle, and we'll leave a gap right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right, so lining up the top, curve around the side of the head, Pull this down towards the top of the cheek. At the top here, we're just going to add a little tip. So from the left side, we're going to curve up. Now we're going to curve down towards this point. Now let's layer in the eyebrows above the eyes. So just above the eye, on the side of the head, we're going to step in, draw a curve coming down towards the eye, and then in towards the beak, leaving a little gap. At the top, we're just going to curve around just alongside the top of the head. We're going to connect those two points with a curve. So curving downwards. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's go in and fill the eyebrows in black. Now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. So at the bottom of the mouth here, I just want to curve in and then down. Right about there, we'll do the same thing on the right. We're going to draw a straight line going across these two points, just overlapping it. Now underneath the beak, we're just going to draw a curve from left to right, going down and then back up. Let's add in that little zipper. So we start in the middle here by drawing a rectangle with a short line across. Two longer lines coming down the sides closing off the bottom. About halfway down the rectangle, we're just going to draw two short lines going out. Then we're going to angle two lines coming down from the side of the zipper pull. Then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Then we're going to add that little opening at the bottom. Stepping up, draw a short line going across. We'll go up with two short angles and then close off the top. Now from these two points, we're just going to draw two short lines coming down towards the zipper pull. Let's move to the sides and draw on the side of the body. So on the left side, we're going to curve down and then just pull this in just below the zipper line. We'll close off the bottom with a straight line. 
I'm just gonna add the zipper in behind the zipper pull. So two short lines in between the middle and then coming down towards the waist. Let's go back up here and just draw two curves going out for the bottom edge of the collar. So from this corner, I'm just gonna curve it up and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna curve these in behind the head. I'm gonna add a little trim. So from this corner, we're gonna step up and just draw a curve coming down towards the inside. On the left side here, I'm just gonna curve the arm going up with the thumb pointing up. So underneath the collar, I'm gonna curve down and out towards the left, towards the wrist. Now let's draw in the thumb. We start with a curve going upwards. We're gonna round out the thumb and then just pull that back down. So it gets a little bit narrower at the base of the thumb. Right down here, we're just gonna draw an oval for the index finger. At the bottom of this finger, we're just gonna draw a mid hand. So curving around, down to the bottom, and then tucking that in behind the index finger. The bottom right here, we're just gonna curve up and in behind the body. Let's add the cuff of the sleeve. So the base of the thumb, we're just gonna curve in and pull that down. We're gonna step over and just draw a trim for the cuff. On the right side here, I'm just gonna have the arm hanging down. So we're gonna start on the side of the body, we'll curve down towards the wrist. From here, we're just gonna draw a little half circle for the thumb. And at the base of the thumb, we're just gonna draw a curve for a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're just gonna swirl around the bracket and pull that up. Now we're not gonna show all the fingers, we're just gonna draw a little mid hand. So we're gonna step down, curving up towards the wrist. Now we wanna bring this all the way up underneath the collar. Let's add in the cuff from the base of the wrist. We're gonna curve down and then out. We'll step up and draw the top curve for the cuff. Let's continue working down with the legs. So in the middle, we're gonna step down, just draw a curve from left to right. And then in the middle, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the heels. We're gonna draw two curves to the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we're gonna draw a curve going across and then over on the right side. Let's draw two curves going off the top of the foot. So from the left side, we'll curve up and then in. Doing the same thing on the right side. From here, we're just going to flare two angle lines going out for the edge of the boot. And then we'll curve this back in towards the inside of the leg. Now from the hips, I just want to curve the outside of the leg coming in behind the boot, but we're going to leave a little overlap. So we're going to curve it down on both sides. Now from the corner of the boot, I'm just gonna curve in behind the leg. Now at the bottom of the boot, we're just gonna add a little trim for the sole. So taking this curve and just duplicating it right up above. And there we have it. There's the crow from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Let us know who your favorite brawler is in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.